Hi everybody. Um, in this problem, we want to find the area of the shaded triangle. Okay, we want to find the area of that shaded triangle. That's a triangle. My drawings are too good, but it's we know from here to here it's sixteen, from here to here it's ten, from here to here it's seven. So we gotta figure out what's the best way to find. I'm gonna try two different ways. Okay, the first way I'm gonna try is I'm going to look at the area of the whole rectangle and then subtract the area of this white triangle and subtract the area of this white triangle. If you do that, you'll just get the green triangle. What's left for the green, right? So want to do that? Let's try that first. So the rectangle is a 10 by 16, so that's 160 square units, right? That's 160. Okay. What about the top white triangle? Okay, what's the formula for a triangle? It's one half base times the height. Okay, so let's see. Let's consider this the base. So it's one half seven. So this has to be the height, right? Times 16. So I think when you do that, you get 56. How about the bottom white triangle? So it's one half base height again. So one half, let's consider this the base. 10, let's consider this the height. 16. So I think it's um, 8 times 16. I think it comes to 80. So we know the whole area. We know this white triangle. We know that white triangle. We can just subtract, right? So the shaded, shaded triangle area is equal to what? It's equal to 160 minus the top triangle minus the bottom triangle. And when you do that, I think you get 24. Can anybody see there's an easier way to even do this? A second way that's a, it's even easier. It has to do with what we learned about triangles and how we can draw like extensions. Like if we consider this the base of that shaded triangle, draw an extension that goes perpendicular to the other point off the base, the other vertex off the base. So let's see. So our base then is one half. Our base, so we know like if this from here to here is 10, from here to here that's three. So that's the base. And the height is the distance from the extension to the other vertex. 16. Oops, 16. So guess what? That's one half times eight. That's also 24 square units. So that's a lot easier way of doing it, but but I wanted to also show you the way where you can do the takeaway uh, way of doing it. So either way you prefer is fine. Okay. I hope that helps.